as you can see, it's just a small little wall, but this is kind of where the, the headboard of a bed would go. So what you do is you just wet down the wall lightly with a wet sponge. This improves the, the capillary action when you pull that wallpaper up. And uh, that way the paste on the paper isn't isn't going on a dry surface. You want it you want it wet. Because you want really good clean. Okay, I've got the wallpaper reverse rolled. This is the top. That's where my pattern has to match. And then I'm going to lift the tablet off so you can see. So down below here, I have a, a tray of water. And it's just a few inches of water. And then you dip the roll of paper in it. And then as you pull it up, it just wets the paper perfectly. But you pull it up slowly. And now I'm going to let you watch me do it. This is real drudgery, but just a little bit of wallpaper can make a big difference in a room. Just this room is was a remodel, and it's not a very good remodel. And there's paneling underneath wallpaper, underneath paint, and it just wasn't installed very well. When you first apply it to the wall, you kind of slide it so it matches. And on a geometric pattern, you have to get an exact match. But once you do, you cannot see seams because it's just too busy. Anyway, that's the fun. So now I'm applying just a little bit of paste or extra adhesion at the edges so it really sticks. As I said, the paper is pre-pasted, so it has dry paste on it, and when you roll it through the water, that's what activates it. But I really want it to stick, so I add extra paste at the edges so there's no chances of it coming up. I talked to your brother but, uh, Holden about wallpaper since he does painting and everything and uh, if you can do painting you can do wallpapering but it, a lot of people don't like doing it but there's money to be made in doing it okay so I've got the wallpaper pretty much positioned now it's just a matter of smoothing out the bubbles. For some reason I'm getting a, a crimp here. I don't want crimps. Um, the one thing about it is that wallpaper, once it dries, it shrinks, so it tightens. So imperfections kind of go away because of that. And of course, I'm dealing with an imperfect wall. <laughs> I can guarantee you this wall is not perfect. So that's, that's wallpapering. Doesn't it look good? <laughs>